Kid Rock with Cocky. This is a CBT for Joel. Yeah, you heard it right. For Joel. Joel, love it, dude. Love it. Killer song. Now, there's, you know, it's about the groove in here and the energy. Um, a lot of, you know, when you, when you listen to a lot of splicing in and out with the parts, but the way I tabbed it, I think it's going to work good for you. Section one, which was that octave thing you heard me doing that that can be I mean that's kind of almost through the whole song so I didn't put it through the whole song we were grabbing you know as many of the, the cool parts as we can but um, might be a little tricky putting it together we'll have to see but I kept that in mind as well as doing this so um, tuning in this is uh, it's gonna be standard and this main groove section one I'd follow the picking and the tabs but it's not critical if you're not feeling it um, 12e it'll go up up down and that down is a 9g and it's either one or two of those notes they're just an e high e and then the octave lower so it's e e g g e e g g e e e so i'm starting that with an upstroke now that's just me but try it that way and then if you need to switch it around that's cool so make them choppy don't go you know you want it staccato Funky. All right, uh, fourth time, no star, so you'll do it four times through, and you'll hear the secondary guitar come in the distortion, uh, which is why I had to cut out on that um, halfway through on section one. Section 2A, nine seconds in, open A, hammer onto the second fret, open D, and then open A. Short rest as you go 3E, and do an E5 power chord, so that's open E and 2A. Two, and then we'll string mute. Keep this, but just relieve the pressure. Drop these down. Basically top three, four strings. And then on the upstroke, we move those and go back to the E5. So it's... So you have... It's really open though too. You know, so... Um, yeah, one second here. Round, round. Musical cat wants in. Hey, buddy. Okay, so, um, and then 15 seconds in, section one, the same. So do it the same way you did it. Um, and then section 2B, these are just kind of little distortion fillers. And they're using, um, I don't know, maybe three different ones in here throughout, like, the verse part. But you're going to, um, on this one, it goes. Okay. That's just, that's why I titled it 2B. All right, you're gonna go open D, hammer onto the second fret, short rest, and then open D to 2A, and then open A to 3E. Into that E5 power chord again, and that'll ring. Then string mutes into the E5 power chord. So we had. And then we had, they're similar, but you know, have fun with them. They're interchangeable too. 30 seconds in, we have some repeats, section 2A one time, and then um, section 2C. And all this is, Joel, is you're going to hit the E5 power chord, let it ring, do the string mutes, and then hit the E5 power chord again. It's this. It's just a groove, a feel, you know? And then... Series of repeats, you'll see in your tabs. The next new part is section three, 57 seconds in. And this is based off of, um, I don't know if you know this, you probably do, but you can tell, come together uh, from the Beatles. It'll be. And when you hear the bass with it, he's harmonizing with the same notes like the Beatles, but it's cool that he threw that in there. Open E twice, into 5A. Do a hammer onto the seventh fret, so it's short rest as you go into 5D. And just put us like a quarter step bend, just real slight, so it's and then open E staccato twice. Does that four times. 
and then it goes back through a series of repeats. And it kind of depends, you know, this song probably be fun for you as you're arranging how you want to do it, but where you choose to stop and do a break and then do the rap part that's in there, um, you know, the sky's the limit really. You can cut out, especially if he's doing it over a part where there's something going on with the guitar and if it's too tricky, you know, you can get creative. Cut it out, keep the beat, and come back in. But I don't think there's too many parts where you gotta, you're gonna have be fighting, you know, vocals with guitar. Um, like I said, series of repeats. The next new part is um, section four. Now, this is two minutes, two seconds in, and I put RS. It's the rhythm for the solo, and it's actually pretty cool. It's got kind of an alternative vibe to it, um, but what I did was I grabbed the bass hook and mixed it with the guitar. So you got something solid to play through. Here, here's what I mean. <laughs> Pretty cool, heavy. Open E twice into 5A, hammer onto the seventh fret. And you're gonna do that two times. And then we'll hit this power chord part. And this is palm muted. It's all on the top two strings. It's the E5 power chord, so open E, 2A. And then go 3, 5, third fret, fifth fret. Fifth and seventh, 6, 8, 5, 7. And then 3, 5, no palm mute. So it's now the bass, when you listen to how Kid Rock did it, the bass is doing that. And then the guitar comes in with the bass. But why not make it just a guitar groove, right? It's you going to be playing it, so. Um, anyways, that'll go four times. And then we go to the top of page three. 243 in, this is where he says red, white, and blue. I wrote that in your tabs. He's accenting the guitar with the vocals, so I would definitely do that. And it's just a, a play off the E5 chord. Open E, 2A, you'll go. So two hits, staccato. Palm mute the open E. And then uh, E5 power chord twice. So it's. And then open two. You'll hear him, it'll go for a little bit, and you'll hear him hit that again. And then, series of repeats again. The last section you'll have to worry about is towards the end, and it's uh, 3 minutes, 26 seconds in. You're going to go like this. So that's four times, one time being this. That's one time. You'll do that four times. And then the very end of the song, 347 is your timestamp. You're just going to do section 2C one time. And that's the shortest section of the song where it goes. And that's it. You're good to go. So, you know, as I'm playing this, I, I hadn't heard this song until you... Um, texted me earlier today about it um, but it may you know from a guitar player standpoint it's probably gonna be the easiest thing you've done you're not worrying about big old chords and tons of strumming you know so I'd be interested to you know hear it with the vocals in it I'd love to hear you like rap like this Joel I, I think it's killer man that you're just like you know bring it on um, so anyways I'll get this handled for you and uh, I appreciate you dude thanks